In this video, we'll look at how to build a different kind of song using more patterns, effects, and even some remixing. To get this project started, let's drag in some loops and arrange them. To put your drums on the fast track, switch media bay to pattern banks. When you load up a pattern bank, you get a beat track, all the sounds, and tons of ready to use patterns, like this. And you can lock them down by dragging them into the track. And if you double click a MIDI part, you'll open the editor where you can cut, copy, size, or move the individual notes. Even draw in new ones to make the beat your own. Speaking of changing the beat, this is the tempo or speed control. Turn it on, and then you can adjust the speed of the song. Or you can make the song change speed on its own by clicking and dragging. Let's bring the groove all the way down to 70 for this part. You can automate your sound in other ways, too. Use this button. The automation can be hidden or switched off. You can edit the automation, or you can show it but not adjust it. This last mode keeps you from messing it up once it's locked down. To automate the volume of a track, select Edit Mode. Pick Volume from this list at the front of the track. You can see all the other things here that are available to automate. Now take the Pencil tool and draw in how you want the volume to behave, like this. Listen to how the volume changes automatically when we play it back. The automation is also very convenient for effects. Just activate the automation lane and open the track inspector. When you click on a parameter of an insert effect, the automation of the track switches to the selected parameter. This makes the automation workflow really easy. Now let's mix things up a little with the drums. First, I'll mute everything but the drums. Now I'll turn on the performance track and set up my performance pads the way I want. Now I'll take the pencil tool and define the sections of the song. Each new section, called a performance part, automatically jumps onto the next open pad. Now I can start playback, and whatever pad I click, that section will loop until I hit another pad. And if you want to take this to the club, any MIDI remote device can trigger these pads. Whether you're a DJ, or just need a drum section that will jam as long as you and change it up when you need to, the performance track is the way to go. And I can record all these changes just like this. Finally, you can add your finishing touches by adding effects to each track, or adding effects to the whole mix. You can add effects by inserting them so the whole track flows through the effect, just like plugging your instrument into a pedal. Let's insert a chorus pedal on this bass track. Click this icon to open the plug-in editor and see all the controls. Now let's add some reverb to the vocal using a send effect. This gives you a more gentle control when you don't want the whole signal affected. First, I'll grab a cool reverb unit. Then I'll select a preset that works for vocals. I'll use these controls to set how long the reverberation lasts and how deep it sounds. Then I'll use the send control to add just a little. 
it's really easy to overdo it with reverb when you're first starting. Cool. Now it's time to mix it down. Use the mixer to adjust how loud each track is. You can also set the pan from left to right like this. Spreading things out makes your sound sound bigger. Now I'll adjust EQ. You can use EQ to boost frequencies you want or to cut frequencies you don't. Cutting away the low end and high pitched sounds will help you keep a cleaner mix. And one very cool new effect is the morphing filter. You can use this one control to slide the frequency, resonance, and morph controls in real time. Check it out. When your track is ready, you can mix it down a couple of different ways. Open the project menu, and you can send it right to iTunes with a single click. It's that easy. Or, if you want more control, select Export Audio File. And this window will let you choose where it goes, what it's called, and what kind of file it'll be. But whatever format you choose, one thing's for sure. The music you create and perform with SQL will be a lot of fun and sound great.